grade 5 welcome back to my channel it's me ma'am and for today ay meron naman tayong panibagong lesson tungkol sa ating science 5 uh, quarter 3 week 7 and 8 so patapos na po tayo sa ating quarter uh, lesson about electromagnetism at the end of our lesson uh, you will be able to design an experiment to determine the factors that affect the strength of the electromagnet. So look at this uh, illustration carefully. So in this um, illustration, we have um, materials. There are three materials. Here is the iron nail, wire, battery. Uh, these are the main uh, materials needed in this lesson so this is a simple electromagnet so what comes in your mind when you heard about electromagnetism okay i know that it is new to all so what is electromagnetism so electromagnetism is the study of electromagnet force so ibig sabihin uh, uh, ito ay nag-aaral tungkol sa mga electromagnet. So, ibig sabihin, so, yung itong magnet na to is very uh, familiar sa atin kung ano yung uh, magnet. Okay? So, electricity and magnets are closely related to each other. Okay? Magkasama yung dalawa and the, the electricity and magnets uh, that is called electromag electromagnet. So, okay? So, electricity can be produced magnets while magnets can produce electricity. So, parang vice versa siya. Without this magnet, hindi din siya makaproduce ng electricity. Without this ele electricity, hindi din siya makaproduce ng magnets. So, yun po, vice versa yung ano niya. Kung sa mga halaman pa to is mutualism. A magnet is usually made of iron. So, lahat talaga ng magnet ay gagawa talaga sa iron. So, it can attract objects such as pins, coins, and other materials made of iron and steel. Alam mo naman natin kung ano yung magnet na yan, di ba? Anything na uh, gawa sa iron and steel ay nag-attract siya, dumidikit siya sa magnet. A nail iron is not a magnet. So, but it can be turned into one. So, this is done by coiling a wire around. This is done by coiling a wire around it and then letting electricity through uh, flow through it. So, doing this, this turns the nail into an electromagnet. An electromagnet attracts like a real magnet. So, it can attract materials made of metals like pins and thumbtacks. The iron nail acts as a magnet while electricity is flowing through the coil of wire. Yung mga yung pinapalibot or um, yung coil, coiled wire. Doon dumadaan yung electricity sa iron nail. So, when electricity stops flowing through the coil to the nail, can, be can the nail still attract the pin and the thumbtacks? So, so, the answer is no. It can no longer attract the pin and thumbtacks. Electromagnets are temporary magnets. When electricity when electricity stops flowing through a coil, so of through a coil of wires, the nail stop attracting any metal metal of magnetic materials. Kapag without na kapag wala na yung electricity, na stop na yung uh, attraction niya. Kasi Ano nga siya? Nangangailangan nga talaga siya ng electricity para magkakaroon siya ng magnet. Para ma-attract niya yung mga iron or metal. Ganon. An electromagnet can be made stronger by using more coil of wire. So, each turn of the wire adds more force to the electromagnet. As kapag madami na yung coil of wire, mas mas ma mas malakas ang pwersa niya na mag attract ng pins, thumbtacks, and anything. So, the number of dry cell also affects the strength of electromagnet. Okay, kapag isa lang yung battery natin na ginagamit, syempre, mahina yung pwersa niya. 
kapag two or more na ang ginagamit natin ay naka syempre dumadami yung battery so dumadami uh, tataas din yung um, attraction niya intindihan kanina factors to be considered in uh, making a simple electromagnet the coil of wires kapag marami din yung pa coil nyo, and then kung marami din yung battery nyo, ibig sabihin po mas malakas ang pwersa niya na magkaroon ng uh, attraction. So, more dry cell uh, mean more electrons falling, flowing in the electromagnet and therefore stronger magnetism is produced. So, ang tawag niyan magnetism na. Kasi the electricity and magnet, so there's a new term Magnetism. Magnets in different industries and businesses are usually used in electromagnet, electromagnet power device such as cranes, cutters, fax, machi fax machines, computers, and etc. Powerful cranes use electromagnets to move scrap in uh, scrap iron and steel or separate metals from recycling. And generators in power plants rely on magnets like the ones found in electric motors to produce electricity. So, and uh, transformers devices that use electromagnets to change high voltage electricity to low voltage electricity or vice versa are often used at homes and in offices. Some transportation systems use magnets like um, trains, subways, trolleys, and monorails are example of this. Scientists and engineers have been even developed maglev train which use electromagnets to flow above the tracks. So this main eliminates friction. Uh, this main eliminates uh, friction which helps the trains run faster than ordinary trains. So ito yung mga train na uh, nasa ibang bansa, na sobrang bilis. Tapos, kuryente lang yung nagpapagalaw sa kanila. So, in your learning test 1, help, help Ili and Magi collect objects which are needed to make an electromagnet. So, encircle the object. I think, um, if you need a soft copy, then you have to print this uh, learning test 1. Kung wala naman is... Isulat yun na lang in what uh, objects or materials needed in making a simple electromagnet. Isulat yun na lang sa answer sheet niya. So, yan. Puzzle yan. So, yun po. So, there are questions to be answered. So, therefore, isulat nyo rin yung mga sagot nyo. So, the activity that you are going to perform will clearly determine the factors that affect the, the strength of, elo, of, the, of the electromagnet. Okay, in our learning test 2, prepare the material listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. So, you may, uh, you may ask the help of your parents or guardian or any adult members of the family if needed. So, the, our activity title is Electromagnet Model. So, the materials are one battery, one large ironing, electrical wire, pins, and thumbtacks. And then, in our the procedures, so there, there is a note. Make sure that the iron nail does not have any rust. Hindi wala siyang kalawang. And then be careful in handling materials. So there are procedures to be followed. Kailangan yung sundin. There are questions to be answered. Yeah. In our learning test 3, inside the box, list down appliances that are commonly used at home. Put a check mark on the appliance where electromagnetic Put a check mark on the appliances where electromagnetism is applied. Choose one appliance from your list and explain how electromagnetism is applied. Okay? Write as many as you can. Lahat ng appliances sa bahay nyo. Then, i-check nyo kung saan yun ang merong electromagnetism. Okay?
Okay, then if you peel it from that na after new after after checking the electromagnetism, you have to choose uh pili ka ng isa, then you have to explain how electromagnetism is being applied. Okay. So now we're learning test 4, draw a device using electromagnet, then explain how it can be useful for home, school, or community. Consider the rubric below in doing the test. Draw. Draw. Guhit nila. So if you want 5 points, you should follow the description. The drawing and explanation represent a clear understanding of the concept. In your learning test 5, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. You have to write the letter in your answer sheet. Okay, there are 5 questions. And to sum up, at the center, circle. So, electromagnetism is the study about electromagnetic force. So, nakadistribute na yung uh, definition niya or function or meaning. So, electromagnetism attra ap attracts like a real magnet. And then, it can be made stronger by using more coils of wire. And also, it is called a temporary magnet. With Kasi na nga, kailangan siya ng electricity to work this magnet. And then, it can attract materials made of metals like pins and tap tacks. Okay? So, that's all for today, guys. Thank you and God bless. And see you in quarter four! And see you all in our quarter four. Good luck and wait, there's more. Answers and lips of copy order in this description box. Thank you and goodbye. Bye-bye.